So this is, um, there's a little bit story behind this one. We had a customer uh, who had as part of his uh, style guidelines that all the arrow wires needed to be pushed backward. Like for example, here, you can see that it's uh, on top of the pink wire. Uh, they, so they would actually go and make sure that every time they were in a code review, all the error wires were pushed to the background, same here. And the problem is I had never really noticed this until he pointed it out. And after that, it became an obsession of mine. So some one of my um, favorite uh, scripting ninjas at Delacore created this BI and he named it move error wires back, but I think it's also known as Fabiola's pacifier and it's recommended that anyone that's doing a code review with me runs it uh, before we do a code review. So what does this BI do? Well, uh, when you, well, it has the reference to the quick drop launch BI reference and the quick drop, the drop combo box reference. In our case, we don't really use the combo box. We're using the reference to quick drop then that uh, will in turn return the reference to the diagram where quick drop was launched from. We clear any existing selection and then um, this is just something that was added on later versions of quick drop to ensure that quick drop shortcuts could be undo. And what we do is we're looking for all the wires on the block diagram. So this for loop then goes through all the wires and we see if it's an error wire. So we figure that out and then once we determine if it's an error wire, we then put it into this array. And if the array is empty, well, we don't know nothing, but if the array is not empty, then we know that this is an error wire and we're going to be moving all of them to the back. So um, this VI is uh, saved in my LabVIEW data folder on the quick drop plugins. And that means that when I'm working on a BI, like for example, this guy here, uh, you notice that the error wire is on top. So I'm not gonna select anything. I'm gonna do control space for quick drop. And in this particular case, we set it up to work with E. So you can see that the error wire was pushed to the background. And if I do control Z, it undoes, undoes the, uh, the action and moves it backwards. So I'm gonna do it again. And you can see that the error wire and this is really nice because it does it for a whole block diagram so if i have had a more uh, complex block diagram it will push all the error wires to the background so um, if you have someone with an obsession like mine now you can make their day by having a vi that actually goes and does that cleanup for them